Over 70% of you aren't subscribed, so if you do enjoy the content, feel free to subscribe. It would certainly mean a lot. American Airlines, though. Yes, one of the big three carriers within the United States that has a pretty sizable impact over air travel movements within and out of the country. In July 2023, just under 100,000 scheduled flights were coming in, precisely at 99.4k, with 17.2 million seats available. These were spread across a whopping 657 routes, to 55 countries in five regions. So for an airline crucial to so many, what does its future hold? Let's begin with a topic that will certainly cause a lot of stir, a bit of a debate, and no doubt a lot of discussion as well below in the comments. In August of 2022, American Airlines announced their intent to order Overture from Boom Supersonic, an upcoming aircraft that will hopefully return supersonic travel to the aviation industry. American joined United as another US-based company that had placed the faith in Boom to create this aircraft. If the plane is produced, Overture will undoubtedly change the game for American Airlines. However, there are more pressing questions than answers in the project. Notably, regarding Boom, there's regulatory approval. Introducing a new supersonic aircraft into commercial aviation does require, as I'm sure you'd imagine, extensive regulatory approval. And factoring in the noise levels, environmental impact, and much more, which, while Boom Supersonic says they understand and are including all these factors into making Overture really fantastic for the environment, there are now more than ever stricter regulations that may see further delays encountered. Take a look at the upcoming Airbus and Boeing planes that are readying for certification, and the challenges faced by these established plane makers ultimately looking to release aircraft not all that different. Additionally, there are a lot of discussions when centering around American Airlines, really the causes that are in place for this contract, and whether, if anything, this is more of a deal centered around public relations than, say, actual firm interest in the product. No doubt as well, there are many factors to take a look at inside the contract as to just how the airline could potentially exit should they be unhappy with the progress at Boom, the company potentially goes under, or the premise around the aircraft becomes more unfeasible than most would probably argue to you it already is. In the near term, moving away from Boom Supersonic, American Airlines has a view to bolstering its narrowbody flying by ordering new planes. According to a report from Bloomberg in this very month, discussions are ongoing with Airbus and Boeing, and a deal could be worth up to 100 total units. Not only a sizable contract, but definitely an important one, as it would come from a significant US customer. American Airlines has the A321 family and 737 MAX series to its name, opting at this point not to fly the A320 Neo specifically. However, it has committed to the XLR and has Maxes are still on order. Boeing will hope to find itself in a favourable position to land the new contract to provide these narrowbody jets especially if the US airline is looking towards fleet commonality and growing its 737 MAX presence. However, over at Airbus, well, they'll fancy offering their A320neo family for further growth plans. The airline already flies a handful of variants in the extended series and is committed to acquiring more. Sirium fleet data indicates that the airline has just over 800 narrowbody aircraft in active service, with Airbus leading the line with close to 500 of those followed by Boeing, responsible for providing just shy of 350 narrowbodies in the fleet. With new narrowbody aircraft coming in, what is the plan for their existing aircraft? Looking at the fleet, 8% of their aircraft that are in storage or also active service are between 24 and 30 years of age, whereas 24% sits between 18 and 24. And lastly, what I want to take a look at is the 13% figure from 12 to 18 years. Its oldest aircraft types include the MD-83s, ERJ-145s, 777-200ERs, A320-200s, followed by those 757-200s. However, the reality is there are substantial aircraft types with an average age of over 10 years, which means if not necessarily we look for the next five years, but more into, say, future decades, the goal internally for this company will be likely to find ways to move these on and streamline, reducing the age as much as possible without damaging the business. We know that if these airlines are investing big in fuel-efficient aircraft, the likelihood that this will turn around and benefit them can be high, but they need to be in the right position and need to purchase the right aircraft for them, and there are many factors to consider. 
Looking ahead, American Airlines says it's pleased with the demand it is seeing across the board. The past couple of years have undoubtedly been tough for multiple business areas, and while they do remain cautious, there's also optimism that the upcoming years ahead will be solid. American hopes to pay off debt of USD $15 billion by 2025. People generally, though, just want to fly. And with record revenues present also thanks to the higher-than-ever prices for tickets, airlines across the globe, including those within the United States, have actually been enjoying excellent financials in recent months. Meanwhile, in April of 2023, American Airlines entered into a substantial agreement with Airbus, which would see the retrofit of its A320 family fleet. It's a decision that has turned heads of many, whether it's a favourable one or not, is certainly something that is up for debate. The retrofit involves updating and enhancing various aspects of the aircraft to improve efficiency and operational performance. This strategic move aims to modernise the airline's A320 fleet, ensuring that it remains competitive and aligns with industry advancements. Notably, Enhanced Electronic Instrument Systems, or EEIS, will be installed. Think of these as LCD flight deck displays, and also new computer displays, which will arrive on the A320 family fleet. I don't want to focus too much on, say, other aircraft on order, because I firmly believe that is a video in itself. But the last decade has been for American Airlines a big one, as they've continued to commit to acquiring new fuel-efficient aircraft, whether that be in the form of orders or very simply actually seeing these planes delivered. This will only continue into the future, as the airline finds ways to innovate, and the reality is, for a carrier like American Airlines and thinking about its sheer size and overall impact, something I discussed right at the beginning of this video, is you're never looking back, always looking forward as much as you can, and while past moments can certainly help you address future ones, American Airlines will be looking towards new planes and retiring some to turn over the operation. They're always thinking ahead, always thinking what's next. That is what makes them so fascinating to really analyse and understand better. It's over to you though. What are your thoughts on American Airlines? This can be with regards to their future fleet, potentially aircraft retirements, maybe the retrofitting of aircraft or something else in between, even maybe that cheeky boom supersonic jet. Let me know down below in the comments, and if you'd like me to take a look at some other airlines, such as American Airlines, and their future within the aviation industry, really highlighting, say, four or five key bullet points that epitomize what they're looking ahead for, you can also let me know. Thanks a lot for your continued support right here on Globetrotting. It does truly mean the world to me to see you enjoying the content and coming back for more. So with that being said, take care, be safe, and I'll see you next time, same place, same time, for more analysis. And we'll fly.